make no mistake, China is an important trade partner for Chile, for the United States as well. President Trump's been working hard to make sure our trade with China is fair and reciprocal. But you should know there is a problem. The problem, though, is when China does business in places like Latin America, it often injects corrosive capital into the economic bloodstream, giving life to corruption and eroding good governance. You saw this, saw this quite clearly here in the region at the Coca-Cola Sinclair Dam in the jungles of Ecuador, Finland, <clears throat> and built by, Ch excuse me, built by China under a previous administration, the dam was supposed to solve Ecuador's energy needs and help save the country and keep them out of poverty. But of course, we know how this story ends. The dam now runs to half capacity. The steel used to make it is full of cracks. And there are accidents. Nearly every top official that was involved in the dam's construction is either imprisoned or sentenced on bribery charges. The project included over $19 billion in Chinese loans as collateral. China, in exchange, received 80% of Ecuador's oil at a discount and then resold that oil to make a profit. This does not seem like a reliable partner to me. I am confident that it does not seem like a reliable partner to you either. It was the Ecuadorian energy minister who put it quite bluntly. He said, quote, the strategy of China is clear. They take economic control of countries. We're glad. Indeed, we're thrilled. The President Moreno's administration has taken swift action to convict those responsible for doing so much harm to their own people. The United States will always encourage Latin American partners to avoid these debt deal traps. Also consider Venezuela. I spoke with President Pinera at length about this today. China's bankrolling of the Maduro regime helped precipitate and prolong the crisis in that country. China invested over $60 billion, $60 billion, with no strings attached. Well, it's no surprise that Maduro used the money to use for uh, tasks like paying off cronies, crushing pro-democracy act activists, and funding ineffective social programs. And you all know, better than anyone in America could know, the crushing, devastating results of that. I think there's a lesson, a lesson to be learned for all of us. China and others are being hypocritical, calling for non-intervention in Venezuela's affairs. Their own financial interventions have helped destroy that country. <clears throat> 